Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Today we actually got a model. This is my lovely niece um, who wants to get her nails done. We're gonna be very gentle with her. She said she had her nails done once before. She's pretty young. I usually don't do other people's nails because um, hence the title, I'm not a nail tech. So I don't be fooling around with other people's nails, but she wants them done. So we'll do them. Ain't like she can sue me because she know I ain't got nothing. So what you gonna get? <laughs> surprise, surprise. But you know, that's kind of sad, huh? But anyway, <laughs> I just start off. I'm just gonna file her nails down and um, do a, a quick gentle prep on her. Nothing crazy. And I think I'm gonna do one of the designs I was gonna do for myself on her. Hope it's not too much for her. And I'm gonna use some uh, cuticle removal, which I usually don't do, but like I said, I wanna be more gentle on her nails. So we're just gonna use the little remover let it set for a second and uh, scrape off some of the cuticle. And with this prep, everything I'm doing to one hand, I'm doing to the other. We're doing both hands today. This is not on me. And I'm just being so gentle. Push it back. Scrape it off and keep it moving. Get our little icky bits away. And then just rub it down with alcohol. And I'm gonna take my uh my little nail drill and I'ma just quickly go across it, go across the nail and get that shine off. And again, I'm being real gentle. I don't know what RPMs to tell your mom because I'm not that fancy. I don't have RPM. I got low, medium, high, so we don't know. And then I take out, I don't know what this bit is called, but I like to use these around my cuticles. It really gets up in there. So again, on low, get up in there, get on the cuticle. get that worked out so now um i'm gonna size out her nails we're gonna use the tip x nails today that way i ain't gotta build nothing and i know she got a strong nail do that to all the fingers and get it prepped get it primed And the tip of the snails do come with a matte side, but you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and run through that anyway, cause I don't trust nobody. And I'm able to use the tip X glue on her nails, cause she's not allergic to uh, him yet, but we're still gonna be very careful with applying it. So four beads for the thumb. Put some down there and then go up to the cuticle and push down. I don't really know how to explain that, but you see the movement. Um, seen somebody else do it and it works great. Quick flash cure. 
We're going to do this to each nail. Love the glue. Wish I wasn't allergic to it. It's the perfect consistency that I like to work with. Glue on the tip, wipe to the cuticle, and bam, those are cute. Now we just flash cure it, so we want to do it cured in the big oven for 60 seconds. Take that same bit that I was working with the cuticle earlier and uh, go back around it to get it flush with the nail and get off any gel that may have um, spilt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna go through and buff all the nails. Get that shiny coat off. duster and now I'm going to go in with a base coat cure them on up now our favorite colors are pink and green so that's what we're going to use for the pinky uh, I think we're going to start off with an ombre with the pinky yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do the pink at the base. Take that green, do the green at the tip. And take my little blender tool and tap, 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 tap. tap. And I've never used this before, but this does not look like the desired effect I want. So, <laughs> go ahead and get my ombre brush because I know how to use that. I don't know how to use that other tool yet. I'm gonna have to work with it. And that's all right. Blend it down, blend it up and try to fix what I just did right there. Go ahead and ombre. I'm gonna leave that tool alone this time. We're just gonna go straight to the brush. I ain't got time to be learning today. Get that grain on. Blend it down. And then I just wipe off the same brush and blend it up. And then I cure it and do it again, do it, uh, give it a, a second coat. And the pointer finger, we're going to ombre this too. And I may not show me doing both hands, but what I do in one hand, I'm gonna mirror on the other. Yeah, sorry, I know I'm in the way, but I get to her finger. That's what we got so far. Good enough. Let's go. 
I do a lot of thumb pink. And pal, that looks good. All right, so here's this necklace I bought from one of the dollar stores near me. One of them like neighborhood stores that ain't really a dollar, but they call it the dollar store. Let's see, I ain't got no special tools or anything. Like I said, we ain't that fancy. So hopefully I can get through these with these clippers I got here. Um, I need to break it down into usable parts. So let's see if this works. Perfect. Perfect, went through like butter. Let's try to get this little part off here. So we can have it just right. Oop, yep. That's good. So now I know I can cut through it and get to just breaking down all these parts. So that's what we got. All right, so. We got a lock, we got a key. And that key is gonna be too big for that finger. That's what I wanted to put it on. So let's put it on the thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay my base coat down now. I mean, not base coat, sorry, top coat. And then put the glue on the charm. Why I'm putting it on the charm and not the nail, I don't know. It would have been easier for me to just put it on the nail. Anyway. And set that right on, okay, hold on. And put that right on down and that is not gonna work. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's try to do something else that's not gonna work. All right, so I cleaned the gel off and I'm just gonna bend it here and bend it to the nail so it'll sit on there better. Cause that's not working. There we go. There we go, now it's conforming to the nail better. Just put a little bend in there. And flash carry in place. And let's go on to the next one. Now this is on the opposite hand. Um, we're gonna put a little hole right there at the tip. But whatever this little triangle bitty is here. And then I'm gonna put the lock through here. I ain't got no tools, I'm just gonna have to use my hand here. And so on one hand, I got the big charm, which is the key, and on the other hand, I have a big charm, which is the lock. And just squeeze that on in there. So let's do something with this chain piece. Let's see what we gonna do with that. Let's put it on this finger here. And I'm just gonna top coat it first. I think I know what I'm gonna do now, so I can go ahead and top coat all of them.
All right, and take my rhinestone glue and just zig it, zag it, zig it, zag it, zoom, right? And then I'm gonna take my chain and just follow that pattern right on down the nail. There we go. Flash carry that on into place. Put that right on off. See if I can get on on there. Alright. And put a little glue back on there and cure that real quick. Because that part didn't stick. Put that right back on in that glue. And then take my big lamp, get her done. And I'm gonna go back on the other side. Now this is the same nail on the other side. And we are gonna do it again. The same nail on the other hand. Here we go, zig it, zag it, zig it, zag it, cure it. And ooh, there we go, step back, assess. See what else I got going on. Now I got these little charms uh, from Timu. If I can find a link, I will put it in the description but these are little lock and keys so that should go well so on the hand where I have the lock I'm just gonna put a couple of keys um, down that middle finger and take the thumb on the thumb I'm gonna uh, I just cut some of that, some of that chain. And I'm gonna throw that right there on the critical. And then just take two stones and put them on the, on the side just to make it look a little more finished. And grab that. Make sure I got it positioned right before I cure it. And then I think I'm just going to take one key. And I'm going to just take this one and put it right there. Now, this is the opposite hand where the key is, I'm going to put locks. So I'm going to do the same thing. I did the three keys down on the other hand. On this one, I'm going to do the three locks down. And I don't think I showed it, but I just did have to take my hand and bend the locks just to sip so it'll sit better on there too. Oh, it wasn't hard, I just bent it with my fingers. All right, and do the same thing I did with the thumb chain on the cuticle pinky, one lot.
This is our whole look. I think they're cute. She loves them. They look awesome. Uh, I don't know what they're practical for, <laughs> but she wanted them done. So <laughs> there we go. If you like coming on these uh, journeys with me, then please like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.